You have to have the right mindset if you want to run four sticks of memory. I said if you want to run four sticks of memory, you have to come to terms with the fact that you're going to be limited to, at best, 48 to 5200 megahertz. Like, if you can't accept that, don't run four sticks of memory. It's like, like, and, and the thing is, it doesn't matter if we're talking about AMD or Intel. Now that I have tested both of them throughout the course of this past week, now I understand the reality of four sticks of memory on both platforms. And the funny thing is, you don't hear many people talk about Intel. Like, almost all the, like, four sticks of memory complaints have always been about Ryzen. But Intel's no better. <laughs> like, Intel's, in fact, like, Intel's the one that's more likely to corrupt your operating system. Because AMD, like, if AMD's unstable, it will tell you pretty quick. Like, that's the nice thing about AMD. It's like, if, 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 if it can't do it, it's like, no, nah, man, I can't do it. It's too hard. I'm too, I'm too fragile for this. <laughs> like, when, when I'm saying four sticks of memory, I guess I should, should state that I'm talking about dual rank. So I'm talking about 128 gigabytes of memory or 192 gigabytes of memory. I'm not talking about 64 because you can do like 6,000 on four sticks of memory single rank for a total of 64 gigabytes. That you can do. I'm talking about 128 and 192. So big, big sticks of RAM. I'm talking about the big sticks. It's 32 times four or 48 times four. So you have A channel and you have B channel. For channel A, you have A1 and you have A2. And for channel B, you have B1 and you have B2. So you've got the first and the second. Now, but the problem is what they don't tell you, you have to go look in the manual if you want to see this. A2 and B2 are always the first ones electrically. What that means is that when we have a wire, the memory traces are done like this. So when the CPU talks to the memory, it goes like this. The first slot that it talks to electrically is A2. And then it also will talk to B2. When you want to run two sticks of memory, you populate A2 and B2. The reason why you install two sticks of memory in A2 and B2 and not A1 and B1 is because if you... If you want the CPU to talk to A1 and B1, it means that it has to run all the way across A2 and then go into A1 from over here. Likewise, if you want to go to B1, it has to run all the way through B2 into B1. That means that the wire length, the amount of wire that it has to run to get to A1 and B1 is significantly longer. It's a longer distance to travel for that electrical signal to get to A1 and B1. This is the reason why if you want two sticks of memory, or if you're going to only use two sticks of memory, you need to plug it into A2 and B2, not A1 and B1, because if you plug it into A1 and B1, it has to go through A2 and B2, and if there's nothing in A2 and B2, then you have an open circuit and it's probably not going to boot. When you run four sticks of memory, if you populate the whole thing, so if we're running all four of these, for a total of 64 or 128 or even 192, the latency goes up because it has to account, the total latency has to average across both both sticks for each channel. So your latency is worse when you have four sticks of memory versus two sticks of memory. Like I always get this question. This is this is a very common question. Which is better, 4x16 or 2x32? Well, the correct answer is 2x32. That's definitely better than 4x16. It's better for latency because as we just explained, you don't need to take into account the additional latency incurred by A1 and B1 because you're only using A2 and B2, so your wire traces are shorter, so the amount of time it takes to read and write to the RAM is much quicker. This is why this is preferred. And this is the reason why my strategy when I first upgraded <laughs> to... Oh, wow, Mr. Math. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Math just subscribed. <laughs> when I upgraded to AM5 last September, my original goal was always 
this, like from the start. I wanted to run 64 gigabytes of memory, so I completely ignored the cheaper uh, 16 gigabyte kits. I didn't want to buy like two of those. I would opt for the 2X32 because even though it was more expensive, it was better in terms of latency and it was less stressful on the memory controller because it's only two sticks of memory, so it's less electrical load on the IMC.